Today is August 18th, 2012. This is a litter of seven AKC registered standard poodles. They are all brown. They are from our beautiful Hollister who was born here and he's actually a grandson of our first two standard poodles when we uh, began our breeding career back in 2008. And um, Hollister of course is fully tested and the uh, the mommy of this litter, we've raised her since she was a puppy. Her sister, we retired after one litter, uh, not because of health reasons. We were just um, we just did felt at the time that we did not need both girls in our program. Um, Sugar has had two beautiful litters of chocolate labradoodles for us in the past with our retired boy Winston, and this is her first litter of AKC standard poodles. And of course, like I said, we bred her to Hollister. So these are AKC registered standard poodles, all brown. Sugar is a beautiful cafe a la, and she is pictured on our website as is Hollister, www.lawpdoodle, kennel, K-E-N-N-E-L, dot com, Law Padoodle Kennel. And uh, these puppies were born on July 31st, last day of July, 2012. They'll be ready for their new homes the end of September. I believe I have them at eight weeks around the 25th of September. And um, so if you'd like to get in touch with us, two of these puppies, one male and one female, are spoken for. We have two females and five males in this litter. So let me uh, introduce you to them. I don't believe we've had those choices chosen yet of which female or which male. Uh, that should happen pretty soon. But if you'd like to put a deposit down, uh, we are taking reservations for uh, the remaining five puppies of this litter. They are a beautiful brown. The one looking straight at us there, look how cute you are. Hello, sweetheart. Um, this is actually one of our girls. This is the one that we call um, Hickory. And uh, I actually kind of came up, we were in the process of, uh, or my husband, I should say, was in the process of um, uh, power washing and staining our two-level deck around our pool. And I just kind of decided to pull names. It, it kind of sounds like they're from trees, and they are uh, types of wood, whatever you want to refer to it. But the idea came up with the theme of stain is actually how I came up with the theme um, wood stain for these puppies. Okay, so that is little Miss Hickory looking at us. They just started, I know, they just started opening their eyes and discovering. And she's looking at me and like, what is that? Oh my goodness, it doesn't look like my mommy. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like my mommy. See, they're just opening their eyes and their vision probably isn't completely clear right now. So she's not quite sure what she's looking at. See, we'll just give her a little reassurance. There we go. All right, let's see. Who do we have here? We have our light blue boy, and this is the one we call Cedar. And, of course, they all look alike. You can see I just took the new updated photos, their individual photos, yesterday and put it on my website on their page. Um, if you just click on up in the upper left-hand corner of our homepage where it says Standard Poodle Puppies, and then follow the link for Hollister and Sugar, you will find their individual photos. And, of course, shortly after we'll be... There goes she, she goes. She's crawling around over there. Um, shortly after, we'll be posting this video, of course, as well. And uh, this one, like I said, this one is the one that we call Cedar. And um, <clears throat> I don't. I think the girls are the only ones that have a little bit of white on them. Their mommy does have some party in her background. She is a solid party factor. Um, Cafe Ale. She was brown when we first brought her and her sister home as a, as puppies. Now Sugar will be retiring after this litter. This is her last litter and uh, shortly after we uh, wean her or wean the puppies we will be scheduling to have her spayed and we're working on finding her a permanent um, forever home shortly thereafter once she recovers from her surgery. Okay, so this is Sugar's last litter. Hollister does have two other ladies. He's got one that is mature that will be bred on her next heat. Uh, her name is Kells. She is now pictured on our parents' page of our website. She is a darker brown. And then we have a little girl that we're raising up. She won't be ready for breeding until sometime late 2013, however, uh, that will also be part of uh, Hollister's future for our brown standard poodle program. Okay, this little girl here is Cherry. She's our other uh, girl of the two girls in this litter. There's little Miss Cherry. Yeah. Okay. What's the matter, Miss Hickory? Huh? Did you get lost? Did you get lost? Okay, this little boy with the brown, um, excuse me, orange uh, uh, collar is the one we call Poplar. He's one of our smaller puppies. I think if not, he is the smallest puppy in the litter. Okay.
Okay, so you can see Mr. Poplar right there. They're so cute when their eyes start opening and they start crawling around. There she goes. There she goes. I know. See there, you can see Miss Hickory. She has a little white uh, mark on her toe. She might have no. Somebody had a white mark on their chest. It might have been her sister. Yep, here it is. You can see there. Her sister has. I don't know that I got a very good angle here. Okay, there. Whoops. Yep, there you go. So there's Cherry's little, she's got a little white mark. I don't think the boys have any marks on them. They might have a little white between their toes and likely their coats will lighten a little bit when they get older, as most browns do. Okay, so all right, here we have the boy that's, this is Chestnut. And he's one of our bigger boys. Okay, he's the one with our brown collar. Okay, there's Chestnut. Yeah, hello. Hello, Mr. Chestnut. See, this is a time of sleeping and eating. Yep, this is a time of eating and sleeping. Okay, that little there, there's my little orange boy. That's the, um, the one we call Poplar. He's climbing all over his sister Hickory there. Okay, now here's our light green boy, and this is the one we call Walnut. He's a good-sized boy, too. Their daddy is a pretty good-sized standard poodle, so I expect the mom is about medium. She's about 45, 50 pounds. I'd say we're probably closer to 45 pounds. Um, and uh, so the girls will probably mature, as they usually do, a little bit smaller. But the boys might be a little bit on their dad's side. I believe he was 60-some pounds when we took him in to have his hips. I'd have to go back and check his veterinarian records when we had his hips x-ray. I believe he was 60-some pounds. And so this is Walnut. Just did a little roll over there for you. He will scratch your belly. Oh, we scratch your belly. Yes, we scratch your belly. Hello. Yeah. And our biggest bruiser back there. Um, they're all pretty close in weight, but this is the biggest guy that we have. And he is the one that we call Teak. Say Teak. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, you still want your belly rub, don't you? So why'd you stop? Why'd you stop, huh? Look at you. Yeah, there goes Hickory. And this is Mr. Teak. Yep. So we want to see your face, baby. You can sniff my hand, but let me see your face. Yeah, there he is. Hello, Bubby. Hello, Bubby. Yep. Lots of brown. Lots of brown. Lots of chocolate brown. Yeah. Hello, sweetheart. You're just as outgoing as can be, aren't you? That's our little Miss Hickory. Yeah, it's little Miss Hickory. And there's her sister. Her sister's a little bit bigger than she is. And this is one we call, of course, Cherry. You're so cute. I love it when they make their little puppy noises. Rookie just gave his first bark. <laughs> so precious. So precious. That's Mr. Teak talking to us. That's Mr. Teak talking to us. Hello, puppy. Hey. Hi, sweet pea. Hi. You're just rolling over. You want a belly rub now, huh? Yeah. Oh, you do have a little bit of white mark, don't you? Yeah, that's our little boy with the light blue. That's the one we call Cedar. He likes his belly rubbed, and he's got a little white mark on his chest, too. Yeah. See, I love the abstracts. I think they're so pretty when they have marks on them. Yes, there you are. Look at these little eyeballs. You guys are so sweet. Say, we can talk puppy talk. We can talk puppy talk. Yeah. So, once again, this is a litter of seven AKC registered standard poodles. Uh, the price we have on our website, of course, is for limited AKC registration. They will be available for with breeding rights. Uh, as long as we either know you or we have um, approved your breeding program and how you keep your dogs, uh, we do a little bit of interviewing, <coughs> excuse me, and then there is an additional fee, of course, for full registration and breeding rights. Um, but most of our puppies usually, of course, go to Forever Homes as pets. Um, but, uh, you know, if anybody is interested in carrying on our beautiful line here in their breeding program, uh, we will certainly be glad to talk with you a little bit more about that opportunity. Um, so just be sure to give us a call or an email. Our phone number is 304-745-5878. And uh, our email is lpdk10608 at gmail.com. We are located in Lost Creek, West Virginia. We are two hours south of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, two hours north of Charleston, West Virginia. 
and we are of course four hours west of Baltimore and Washington DC so um, and it, once again our website is uh, Law Padoodle Kennel www.lawpdoodle kennel k e n n e l dot com uh, if you'd like to get in touch with us and we'll be glad to talk with you a little bit more about these guys and these girls okay thank you so much for viewing our puppies and may God bless you <laughs>